Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna answer some of the questions I get asked all the time in a little FAQ style video. If I don't answer anything clearly enough or you have any extra questions just leave them in the comments and I will try to get to them in a future video. I really hope that this video is helpful for you and with that said let's get right to it. The question I get asked the most uh, is probably about my gold alcohol ink and how I get such fine gold lines. The main thing is honestly practice uh, which I know sucks to hear but it does just take a lot of like getting used to how the ink move and how they work together. There are obviously things you can do to make it a bit easier. The main thing for me is to use a good quality gold alcohol ink. I always recommend Brass by Jacquard. It's my favorite, it's the one that I always use. I get it in these big bottles which are better value and then I just decant it into a little one like this for when I'm applying it. In terms of the actual technique, try applying your isopropyl alcohol and the gold alcohol ink and then your colored alcohol inks onto your page in different orders and in different amounts and see what works best. Use your air tool to push the gold alcohol ink from wherever you drop it on the page to the edge of the isopropyl alcohol. When you have a puddle of like your alcohol ink, isopropyl alcohol and gold ink, use your air tool to push it around so that the gold goes to the edge of the puddle because that's where it's gonna dry in a line. If the gold is staying in the middle, it will dry there, but it will be a lot more kind of flaky and like this moving around. If you have it like right on the edge of the puddle, it will dry there and form a line. I do also have a YouTube tutorial available showing one of my gold line techniques. So you could check that out if you want. What materials do you use for your coasters? I get asked about making coasters a lot, especially what materials I use. You could use different things such as tiles, but the technique that I do most of the time is as follows. I buy these wooden coaster bases. You can get them like on Amazon or I also before had a friend make them for me because he was a woodworker, so that was really cool. You get the wood, you paint on Yupo paper, do your painting on that and seal it, and then you just glue that onto your wooden base. You need to make sure you varnish it and then you can add resin and then I normally add cork onto the bottom of the coaster so it doesn't scratch your surfaces and I also paint the edges gold. How do you seal your paintings? Alcohol inks can fade with time especially because of exposure to UV rays from the sun. The main thing is to get a varnish that doesn't reactivate your alcohol inks. If you can access Krylon Kamar varnish that would be perfect and then you could follow that on with the Krylon's Archival UV protection spray. I forget what it's called exactly. Unfortunately in Ireland and I presume in other places of the world it's really hard to access that brand so you could make do with a different varnish. I tried out a bunch of different ones and they all reactivated the inks until I've got to Montana varnish. This does include UV protection which is really cool so there's like less steps but the only problem is on occasion it can reactivate the inks only if you spray it too close to your painting so I would recommend practicing first on some like practice pieces so that you don't need to worry about if they get ruined because I definitely ruined a couple of paintings when I first tried this out. How do you ventilate and use alcohol inks safely? So safety is a really big concern for me because alcohol inks are toxic so I wear a respirator mask this is the one that I use. It's by 3M. It's really comfortable and gets the job done. Fits really well. The main thing is to get one which has cartridges that filter organic compounds. I love this. So I definitely would recommend this one or any one that you can access. You can use it when you're like varnishing and everything as well. So it's super handy. After you finish painting, make sure that you keep wearing it for a while because there's obviously still fumes in the room. I always try and keep a window open when I'm painting. And then after I finish painting, I'll open the window windows and doors really wide. What hair dryer do you use? For my hair dryer I use a cheap one from Boots which is it's just their own band hair dryer. I can't really recommend it because it's a bit too powerful. This one's like 1600 watts so if you can get a hair dryer that's like a thousand watts or somewhere around there it would probably be a bit easier to use. The more powerful it is the faster um, and more dramatically it's going to push your alcohol inks around the page so if it's more powerful it can make more splashes and that kind of thing. If it's a bit weaker, you'll have more control over the marks you're making. The weaker the hairdryer you can get, the better. Uh, before this, I had one that I got for $5 in a thrift store. It was like super old and super weak and it was perfect. So keep an eye out for like a secondhand one if you can. It might be perfect for you. What percentage isopropyl alcohol do I use? I use 99% isopropyl alcohol. I get it in like a bottle like this or well, it doesn't matter what they look like. Just make sure it's 99%. The higher the percentage, the less water content there is in there. So the kind of 
faster it will evaporate and also the cleaner your effects will be if it's like 70 percent there'll be a lot of water in there and it will just it won't look good on the page you'll probably get some weird textures and weird looking effects with your alcohol inks which can sometimes happen anyway if you live in an area with high humidity like me <laughs> so i just keep my isopropyl alcohol in a little needle tip bottle like this i use my tiny little <laughs> funnel thing to fill this with it and then this is gives you a lot more control when you're painting so that's all the questions i'm answering today if you have any other questions just leave them in the description and i will try and answer them in a future video